So if you follow the standard quotes here, mm. you will see it's Friday. Correct. Mm. So Friday means it is uh, Venus. Yeah. So, we, mm. so it is again Friday by sunrise. Mm. So this Venus goes to the <laughs> Venus Lord Seventh, my God. <laughs> Second and seventh, you see, direct marriage. It is like, can't get better than this. Okay. And I don't know which part of the world this, this is the chart of an Indian. So you must be in India and September three and a half hours difference. So that would be around 5.45 or something like this PM in, in India. <laughs> so, so Venus Lord, second house, seventh house. Mm -hmm. Question I, I can only predict the question is pertaining to marriage and family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, what are the resources Venus has? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a precarious situation for Venus. Venus is in Virgo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's in debility in Maran Karakstan. Mm -hmm. In the sixth house, it is like very challenging for Venus. Mm -hmm. Then now the now now of course again twenty is the day ruled by two is like moon. Moon. Mm -hmm. So moon is exalted here. It's in Taurus. Mm. He's thinking about family always. Mm. So now because of this exaltation of moon, the help, the good thing which is uh, happening to him is uh, that. He will be able to accept the proposals earlier, you know, not too much picky and choosy and you know, like not going on rejecting people all, all the time. Mm -hmm. Because he is very much interested to start a family with somebody. Mm -hmm. So now if you check properly, again there you see Uranus in the Lagna. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now if you check carefully, this is again a uh, Chara Lagna, Aries. Aries. Mm -hmm. So now what what would you predict that uh, because it's a Chara Lagna, there will be change and he will get married very easily. Mm -hmm. Actually what happened, he got so frustrated, he decided he will not marry him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He said, I am frustrated from last five years. I have lost everything. In my life, because of this, we do help you. That did you see that Uranus, mm. sudden Uranus, mm. like sudden it's Ashwini. You see, the Lagna is Ashwini, mm -hmm. sudden. And sometimes we need to check the degree also. So, Venus is in 13 degree, which is more than the ascendant degree, six degrees. Mm. So it is actually in the 6th house, not in the 5th house, as per Bhav mm. Now, if you check the 6th house, again, I said the day lord and the planets conjunct the day lord, if you remember, I said. Mm. So, you see what is happening. Who is conjunct Venus here? Mercury, the 6th lord. <laughs> mm. that, that adds to the problem more. And then this third lord is also there. So he's been doing this communications back and forth. <laughs> and somehow not happened. And the fifth house son is the fifth lord. He's you know trying to find somebody whom he first likes or you know with whom he's obsessed or infatuated with. But the mm -hmm. predicament is this planet of Brahmacharya is in his fifth house, Mars. Mm -hmm. So Somehow it's like not happening, and as I told you earlier, also the trinal lords will tell you. Okay, the trinal lords, if you see again, the trines not a very good shape. Malefic in fifth, two malefic. My god, how many are there? Pluto, Saturn, Ketu. And even if you ignore Pluto, there are again two malefics there. So is he getting any help from the Pitrus or from the ancestors? <laughs> it doesn't seem like that. And then you check where, where is the fifth lord? Fifth lord is in Adustana, sun. Mm. Jupiter, the ninth lord is again in Dustana. Mm. 
and even if you take a traditional marriage jupiter is again the karaka for the seventh house it is again in dusthana here so things don't seem to be very good for this person mm -hmm. and then after some time and uh, he decided that uh, he will he will not get married mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and now you could always say oh wait wait when venus comes in seven but that will only happen if the overall prasna chart is positive you know just by the entry of venus in seven you can't get married No, no. So everybody will say, "Oh, anyways, my planet will enter that personal chart. This house one day I'll get married." No, like in case of career, we saw there were positive things, and when that transit happened, then it happened. But here, if the horoscope is denying, mm -hmm. it is very difficult for it to happen. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And uh, if you see here. The Lagnesh is Mars. Mm -hmm. The Lagnesh is in Uttara Falguni, which is all to do with marriage. <laughs> mm -hmm. Falgunis are like, ha, uh, Purva yeah. Uttara marriage ceremony. Falguni only man, just just enter Uttara Falguni, just see. Mm -hmm. So that means if it would be in Purva Falguni, he would be in this uh, hangover of marriage. Purva Falguni is the hangover, you know. Oh, I will have this perfect romantic marriage one day. That's Purva Falguni. Mm -hmm. Uttar Falguni is like, hold on, man. Will I get married? <laughs> 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 so now, now he is not concerned with uh, a happy married life anymore. He is only mm -hmm. concerned: will he get married or not? Mm -hmm. and he is he is optimistic because it's in the fifth house he is himself very optimistic mm -hmm. he wants to make the marriage happen but because this day lord is in such a bad shape it it doesn't seem and he has no help from the pitrus or from the ancestors and will remedies work trinal lords badly placed jupiter badly placed remedies will not work <laughs> mm -hmm. so now the chara lagna is there Okay, sudden change. You are in a sudden. Mm. And if you know the story of Ashwini, it is the Ashwini Kumaras. You know, two, two, two together total. Uh, twin things. Like yeah. two men are together, so he's like, oh, better I stay with friends. You know, do hell with all this marriage and all that. Doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. so that's what he ended up doing finally. Mm -hmm. But he's somewhere in between. If you check, his moon is in Rohini, so he's still thinking of some red roses, mm -hmm. and <laughs> he is in clouds to a large extent. Moon being the numerology's day lord, <laughs> mm -hmm. so he is kind of in the junction. He wants a great marriage, and now he's getting a feeling that maybe he will never get married. And now he comes to you to confirm. Mm -hmm. All right. Right, right. Yeah. So that that is okay from you, or anything else you would like to comment on this chart? Mm, it's uh, fine. But here, here one positive thing I can see: Jupiter and Moon again making uh, a sambandh here. He must be in a merry, merry sort of happy, happy mood. At present, when the question was asked, that way. Yeah, yeah, because if you also see Jupiter is in Jesta, so Jesta Nakshatra mm -hmm. at this trade, you need to get things done by hook or by crook. Mm -hmm. Because like mm -hmm. any remedy, anything, you tell me, go to this Himalayas and mm -hmm. head there ten times, I will do it. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, you tell me, or you tell me, you will not get married. Either of the two. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be in this dilemma. Oh yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> that mm -hmm. I'm done with this. Either yes or no. Just tell me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if this Jupiter was well placed, then uh, things could have changed. <laughs> But there you see how this day lord works. Bang on. Two examples I had showed you. Yes, yes, exactly. Now these were very direct examples. Now let us check for this. Yeah. 
mistake. <clears throat> Is the chart visible? Yes, yes. Hmm. Okay, so here the person is born on a Wednesday and it is 17 July. 17th is the number of Saturn, it is 8. So whatever happens will be extreme. The trait of mm -hmm. Saturn in numerology is extreme. Either good, mm -hmm. extreme, bad, extreme. Right. So here if you check Mercury is the day lord. Mm -hmm. Then Mercury is ruling which houses? He is lord of the 11th house. And 8th. Mm -hmm. And 8th. Mm -hmm. So this person had, uh, this was a student, he was doing uh, higher studies abroad. Mm -hmm. He asked me, he wants to continue his higher studies. Uh, will he get some uh, internship or some part-time job opportunity to continue his master's? Okay. Mm -hmm. Because his father is not able to support him now. Okay. It's like 8th house is other's money, right? Yes. 11th mm -hmm. house is your money. 8th house is somebody else's money. Mm -hmm. So Mercury is ruling the 8th house. So you are concerned with your income, 11th house. It's not more of a job. It's more of that income stuff. You see, somehow I will sustain myself. Mm -hmm. And the 8th house, which means father is not able to sustain me. What should I do? So that means Mercury is primarily speaking for his own income. And then Mercury is placed in the ninth house with the 10th Lord. Wow. Dharma, Karma, Dipati Yoga. Fantastic placement. Aspected by the ninth Lord. So, sorry, I mean, not uh, Dharma, Karma, Dipati Yoga is because of this sun and moon mutual aspect. Moon is the ninth Lord. Sun is the 10th Lord. Mm. So, here it is again in the ninth house with this Lagna Lord, Mangal. <laughs> Mm. So, ascendant is also involved, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this Jupiter is in the ascendant, so he's very positive, very hopeful, as I said, if natural benefit is in the ascendant. Mm -hmm. And uh, the ascendant is out of any uh, malefic influence or you know, uh, any malefic aspect or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Because Mars doesn't aspect. Saturn doesn't aspect, Ketu doesn't aspect, Rahul doesn't aspect, no, no malefic is aspecting. So mm. apparently this person is not in depression. Mm. It is just a query which he has in mind, you understand? Mm -hmm. It is not that he's in anxiety, oh my god, what will happen? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so this definitely means that maybe it is not such a, a big urgency for him. Mm -hmm. And yes, uh, this Mars is in debility. So when the Lagnesh is in debility, I have seen you are ready to compromise on some of your principles. Mm -hmm. Because debility means, uh, like debility can have many meanings, of course. One of the meanings is you are ready to uh, break certain rules or regulations. Mm -hmm. Or it can mean you are ready to do something which you don't like. It can also mean that. This person was into mechanical engineering. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me, I just need to survive. So either I will find a part-time job or uh, under my professor, or I will go and search job in Amazon and do all this, you know, box lifting and <laughs> all this. Mm -hmm. so he was like, uh, I can also do things which I don't like because I, I need money at the end of the day. So he's not very concerned with uh, what will happen to his status? Will he like it? Will he not like it? Mm -hmm. Because this Mars is in debility. Mars gets debilitated in Cancer. Mm -hmm. But because this Mercury is uh, in the ninth, involved in this Dharma Karma Dipati Yoga, therefore uh, it is likely he will uh, find a job very soon. And later on, uh, when this person told me he. He had applied to this Amazon 
mm-hmm. and he got a job there uh, and surprisingly he was searching for these uh, labor jobs kind of picking okay. boxes mm-hmm. and doing all this which gives the minimum wage mm-hmm. he got a it job uh, because he got he had some it experience before some front end development job or something like that okay mm-hmm. because because if you see mercury is not alone he's conjunct the 10th lord and the 6th lord mm-hmm. so that means his work experience will help him in getting uh, this he's getting daily getting his daily income you see mm. so 6th house 10th house shows work experience so this is how you can suggest the person that you can ask him oh you are doing masters okay did you do some job before ah apply in that job mm-hmm. definitely you will get it right mm-hmm. but but it's just that you may not like that very much Mm. Right, and this person got the job within next next month as soon as Mars moved to Leo. Enquire. This just recently the person told me. Yeah, it's good to enquire. Maybe I will ask him when that happened. Uh, okay. But he now he's about to finish his uh, masters. Also now now he will apply for the main job. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm. this this is just a matter of survival actually mm-hmm. and uh, because it is 17 saturn so it will mm-hmm. either be in a very humble company or in a very big company it's like very big amazon huge mm-hmm. it will be like you know one of the best places to go or one of the worst places <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, here uh, yeah, there are many other things you see fifth lord is in the lagna yeah mm-hmm. okay second lord is in the lagna so support of the family is there but it just that he doesn't want to use his father's money mm-hmm. now does it mean that his father will not give him money if he has definitely not like that because that second lord is in lagna so his father will support him mm-hmm. right yeah so it is not that his father will never support him but it's like he only doesn't want to take you know he's like oh let me do it myself why should i take money from my father like this mm-hmm. right. yeah this is another very beautiful chart to illustrate prashna chart and uh, but there is one catch here it is a sthira lagna <laughs> yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. so it will take time to get the job mm-hmm. and there is um, yeah and of course there are so many other things you can see you know mercury is retrograde jupiter saturn are also retrograde you can keep going on and on with person and moon is again in the capricorn uh, sign he must be sort of little worried or tensed also yeah milega ki nahi milega ha na that 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 is pretty obvious of all because Moon is mm-hmm. Uttara Shada, and mm-hmm. Uttara Shada has this trait. You know, he wants to be victorious finally. Mm-hmm. So yeah, this was our anxiety to some extent. So his situation mm-hmm. was like, okay, I have been taking my father's money. I could still take, but I don't want to. So can I do without his money? <laughs> and I said, yeah, of course. Why not? You can do. but right. starts from your work experience so he was a it engineer before mm. then he got a it job it's a bit weird he is doing masters in a different domain but his job is in it part time job okay mm. yeah now later on of course now he is searching for the main job actually after finishing his masters mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. and here also if you see the trinal lords are relatively well placed moon is aspecting the ninth from there guru is in lagna mm-hmm. but in ninth wow fantastic mm-hmm. all trinal lords somehow linked with each other mm-hmm. you know, jupiter is also aspecting this lagnesh so very, right. very 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 good placements mm-hmm. and 11th and 9th making a sambandh that way is then 8th lord coming into 9th that's mm. yeah and the only critical thing is uh, he's he's are facing severe issues in the family some family crisis mm-hmm. is going on mm-hmm. 
that that this Jupiter second lord is the dispositor of K2 Saturn, so some unpleasant situation in the family, which mm -hmm. compelled him to come to get a reading, you see. Mm. And it, all these things are fine, Mercury and all this, but the ascendant will tell you what has actually, you know, like what has brought him to you, or you could also see the day lord, you know, Mercury in nine, something to do with mm. the father. Sun, the Karaka for father is also there with Mercury. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ninth lord, which shows the father aspect. So, father is very strongly involved, you see. Mm. Sun is there, right? Mm, in the yeah, and the family issue has something to do with the mother because Saturn is the fourth lord. Mm. So, Rahu, the fourth lord, if you say Rahu, Kuru's Aquarius, is in eighth, not mm. with, with Venus. And again, this other lord Saturn is with Ketu in the second. So, yeah, something to do with the mother or uh, maybe some relative sometimes or. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be an issue. Mercury also can show relatives as ruling the 8th house. Now, of course, I did not inquire what was the family problem because that was uh, not a part of the discussion. Mm -hmm. But yes, this this is it's very uh, it's very easy if we can read the chart stepwise. Right. Because even if you tell the person that yes, you will get that itself is a big relief. Right. Then, then the person may be concerned, okay, when this can happen, that, that is fine. But if you, if you see that indications are negative, you know, then what is the use of seeing when it will happen? Because it, it's anyway <laughs> going to happen. Mm -hmm. So can I stop the screen share? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that is from my side. So, I'll just quickly summarize. So, the first thing we check the Lord of the Day. Uh, how is it rules? As we saw in these three cases for career, 6th house, marriage, 7th house. Marriage was like bang on, direct 7th house. Mm -hmm. And for higher studies. Mm -hmm. Higher studies and part time job, which is 11th house, 9th house. 11th house is not part time job, by the way. It is mm -hmm. even more than the 10th house, but in this case, it can show income. Mm. And then the placement of these three uh, of the day lord that will tell you to what extent the resources are available to fulfill the agenda. Mm. Like in case of marriage, we saw Venus was in debility and in the sixth in Virgo. So resources are not available. The person is finding faults with every mm. uh, proposal which is coming. He's like, oh, this is not there. That is not there. This is not good. Mm -hmm. That's not typical Virgo behavior. And that is why he's following celibacy, he's uh, staying single because that's what is the sixth house. And then we saw the planets conjoined, the day lord is also very important. Mm -hmm. And the planets aspecting the ascendant or sitting in the ascendant will show to what extent are you optimistic. And the mm -hmm. placement of the ascendant lord will tell you uh, to what extent are you in anxiety or to what extent does it bother you if that happens or it doesn't. Right. To what extent are you working towards it to make it happen actually? Or you are just sitting down there lazy. Mm -hmm. And if you have the bot time and if you see something already, then you can confirm it from the person. So that also works sometimes, I've seen. Right, right, right. So suppose for this person his bot chart would be available and he would run a great period, Dasha wise. Mm -hmm. Then now, if, if this person is also supporting, that means he will get a very big job. Right. Mm -hmm. Because the sixth house gives you a job which is, mm, which is like, okay, it's off your level, but you are not very happy doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The tenth house gives you managerial responsibility, which means right. it is a job which people will tell you, oh. He or she got a better job than what they deserve, apparently. Mm -hmm. And the 11th house is even three times more powerful than the 10th house. If the 11th house suppose, then people will be like, oh wow, how did you get that? Mm -hmm. Can you tell us also? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, as per numerology, you can check. Uh, one is for mm -hmm. sun, two for moon. 
so we checked uh, in that case because it was 17 for that so we got job in a very good company and because uh, it was moon 20 was there for that marriage case so mm. therefore it, the person was very emotional and he was very much in anxiety mm. and uh, for the first case it was nine so it was mars so mars mm. was again linked to the carrier so it was a very strong mm. carrier question so okay. you can combine these things and uh, you, you will finally come at a verdict and by that you can know what could happen or later on you could see when that would happen right that mm. is all from my side <laughs> wonderful wonderful very nice okay uh, we can wind up now it's okay. fine okay. yeah but we'll continue for uh, our casual chat <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, then. And stop it. Thank you very much for the invitation and see you soon then. <laughs> Thank you, Babaji, for coming to my channel. Thanks a lot. It's always a delight having you. Thank you. Thank you.